Hello friends, welcome to EduTap. Today we will discuss about the human digestive system. The figure on your screen shows the human digestive system in a very elaborate manner. You can see all the parts properly labeled in this diagram. The different parts of the digestive system can be listed as mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. These parts have been listed in the order in which the food passes through them. Apart from these parts, we have certain accessory glands that help in the digestion of food. They are the liver, pancreas, gastric glands found in the walls of stomach and intestinal glands found in the walls of small intestine. Let us understand the different parts of the digestive system. The first one is the mouth. Inside the mouth, the teeth chew the food to break them into small pieces. Converting of food into small pieces is important to make its passage easier through the esophagus. The saliva in the mouth wets the food to make it soft. Also, it converts the complex carbohydrates into simple sugar. Next one is the esophagus. Esophagus is just a part that transfers the food from the mouth to the stomach. Now let us see what happens inside the stomach. Inside the stomach, the food is churned and mixed with the digestive juices. These digestive juices essentially helps to break down the proteins into simpler forms. Also the acid in the stomach helps kill germs that might have entered the body with the food. Then the food is passed to the small intestine. Inside the small intestine, the complete digestion of the food takes place. Small intestine gets the secretion of digestive juices from the intestinal walls from the liver, pancreas and gallbladder. After the digestion of the food has completed, the absorption of food into the blood starts. This is facilitated by hair-like outgrowths called villi present inside the small intestine. The food that remains undigested is passed on to the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs the water present in the food through the blood vessels present in its walls and converts it into a semi-solid paste. This semi-solid paste is stored inside the rectum. The semi-solid paste that has been stored inside the rectum is passed out in the form of excreta through the anus. The accessory glands like the liver, pancreas and gallbladder have a very important role to play in the digestion of food. They secrete digestive juices that helps us to achieve the complete digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins in our body. Well, I hope that you would have well understood the topic of digestion. Thank you for listening. For more such informative videos, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching. Thanks once again.